moving on to beam. Um, same thing, we're gonna go by beam this time since it's organized a little bit differently. Um, so, just to put it in retrospect, each beam except for any of the floor beams all have two stations on them for right now. I'm still trying to figure out how I can get one station specifically just for one thing and not split up. Um, because since we do have to have a certain amount of stations every time because of the possibility of a certain amount of kids per class. Um, so just so you're aware, there should be two stations on every single beam except for any of the ones on the floor for right now. So um, if they're not, please let me know. Something didn't get set up right. Somebody forgot one or, you know, just help each other out. Just especially if you're like, I'm missing something and you have all the beams being used, but you're like, there's still, there's supposed to be two on every beam for right now. But I will let you know when that changes. So on the gray beam we'll do two at a time for a beginner they're going to do arabesque two seconds and then lift to scale for two seconds holding the dowel bar or stick behind their head so their arms are straight and then on the other side they're going to do straight jumps holding the short pool noodle you're welcome to have them swing their arms um, but if it's not getting to the correct spot and their arms are not straight please have them just stick to keeping it above their head for now um, for intermediate on that beam, they're going to do leaps starting from their good leg up, holding the stick behind their back. So start with their good foot pointing where they want to go, which is forward, and then hop onto that foot. It probably won't be very big starting out um, and keeping the stick from moving a bit from behind their head. So it shouldn't move except for where they have it held at. Um, for advanced, they're going to do arabesque two seconds. Oh, nope. Sorry. Wrong thing. Oops, read the same thing again. There we go. Okay, so for advanced, on side one, they're going to do snap turns holding the short pool noodle, um, trying to get to no wobble on certain things from now on. Um, then after that, on the other side, they're going to do split jumps, also trying to be no wobble. With that one, they're going to hold the stick above their head so they can't swing their arms um, and using mostly leg power. Next, they're going to do on beam six, back to beginner, lever to lunge, unstacking pit blocks on the road beam. So the road beam is actually going to be on the beam this time and not on the floor. Um, that way they can get comfortable doing the actual skill up higher and take the part about the beam being super skinny out of it and hopefully that builds some confidence. On the other side, they're going to do kicks forward, picking up the scarf with the foot pointed um, three times on each leg. So they're only going to kick forwards and they're only going to pick it up with their front foot. So they should never be moving something backwards. Um, and then three times on each leg, um, picking up the scarf so their feet are pointed. For intermediate, they're going to do handstands on the road beam. Their feet will touch spot if need be. Um, really making sure that you're finding the balance of getting them to try by themselves, but also if it's not even close to what it should be, you know, trying to help them out a little bit. Um, then on the other side, they're going to do kicks backward, picking up the scarf with their foot pointed. So instead of kicking forwards, they're going to kick backwards. Um, for advanced, instead of doing handstands, they are going to try cartwheels since it'll be a little bit higher. Um, I'm sure some of them, or most of them, have already tried a cartwheel on the regular beam anyway, whether it's high or low or on the floor. Um, so getting them to try it now on a higher surface, kind of like beginner, getting them to get comfortable doing a skill like that, but taking away the skinny part of the beam will be a lot helpful, uh, a lot more helpful, I will feel. So then on the other side, they're going to have the scarves just like everybody else, but they're going to do one kick forward and then one kick backward. You can make them two different colors, that way they know which foot to kick forward and which foot to kick backward. Just getting their fine tuning stuff for their kicks and jumps. Um, all settled then the last big beam um, beginner will do passe march over the four pit blocks and then straight jump off to SLP and it'll be halfway so the pit blocks will be one two three four and then after the fourth one is when they'll jump off um, then on the other side they're gonna relevate for 10 seconds and hold the three pound weight above their head um, pretty self-explanatory for intermediate they're gonna do a straight jump over each star so intermediate does not have pit blocks they have stars because jumping over pit blocks and intermediate scares the crap out of me and then straight jump off to SLP. On the other side, they're gonna passe lift to releve, hold for five seconds with three pound weight above their head. So get all get them situated, make sure that they realize the more stable they are before they lift up to releve and the less rushed they are, the better. Um, so get situated, foot at knee, hands above head, and then try and lift to releve and hold for five seconds with the weight above the head. Then for advanced on that beam, they are going to do step leaps. So step bad foot, leap, and stay in arabesque. Um, that way they get used to balancing um, and possibly coming in to step and jump later on in the lesson plans. 
Um, so really trying to get them comfortable stepping and leaping rather than just leaping from one spot, making the step to the leap kind of fast. That way they get used to that also. Um, and then on the other side, they're going to hold releve for 10 seconds and then pivot turn and hold for 10 seconds on the other side. So they're trying to balance on both sides of the skill that they're doing. Then on the floor beam for beginner, they're going to do split jumps. We'll see how those go. Um, on the floor beam for intermediate, they're going to either do jump half turns or jump full turns. Um, and then for um, the jump on the floor beam for advanced, they can either do straddle jumps or they are welcome to try um, tuck jumps that spin halfway around. Um, so as long as they can do a good chuck jump, chuck jump, tuck jump, they're welcome to try the turning tuck jumps, but if not, then just have them do um, the straddle jumps. 